Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank International Medical Corps for honoring me with the Founders Award on behalf of all health professionals in the field. And you have added another break in building of my confidence and the belief that I do make a difference in helping women and children. When I went to Pakistan in 1993 as a refugee from Afghanistan, I had lost hope of a better future for myself and my country. I had lost my father in rocket attack, my home and my job. I was a doctor, but with no confidence in my ability as a person and as a professional. But when I joined International Medical Corps, I felt if I had stepped into a dream which turned into a reality. We were a small group of five Afghan female physicians who first benefited from International Medical Corps trainings in Pakistan. We were trained not only in medical subject, but also we trained in management. And those trainings, motivation, and job opportunity developed my confidence. International Medical Corps revived my confidence, my feeling for the humanity, and the belief that I do make a difference, however small. So that was the reason that I agreed to be among the first group of three women who crossed Pakistan border and entered Afghanistan just one day after the fall of the Taliban government on December 22, 2001, without burqa. Thank you. I was promoted to master trainer, health team leader, medical coordinator, and finally medical director with full confidence in my ability as a person, as a professional, and as a woman. Not only me, but women from Afghan refugee camps also benefited from International Medical Corps uh, trainings. And most of those women repatriated back to Afghanistan, but with confidence and with the knowledge to make a difference. And I would like to share with you a story of Afghan refugee women who trained with International Medical Corps Community Health Workers training. Her name was uh, Rabia. She was uh, 50 years old. She had been 10 times pregnant throughout of her life, but she had no honey children. Either she miscarried or her children died during the birth. She was living alone and her husband with wishing baby married. When she was when we, uh, she was offered the opportunity to take part in International Medical Corps training as a community health worker, she gained a new purpose in her life. And she helped so many other Afghan refugee women to get the care she had never. When she repatriated back to Afghanistan, she held her certificate, cast her certificate, and she was proud of her achievement and the ability to give back. I came from Pakistan just a few days ago, and may you cannot imagine the devastation that I had I witnessed. In less than two months, more than 20 million people were affected by flood and 400,000 pregnant women are among affected people, with 45,000 deliveries per month, which most of them will be 
without access to a skilled birth attendant. Women and children face alarming diseases like malaria, dengue fever, acute respiratory infection, and diarrhea. In less than two months, 10 polio cases were confirmed in affected area. We, International Medical Corps, were among the first organization that we responded to the flood through our medical teams, psychosocial support, hygiene promotion, and distribution of thousands of hygiene kit. And we treated more than 200,000 women and children, and also we saved the life of 3,400 children through our diarrheal treatment center. And I would like to thank all of you for your coming, for listening to me, and for supporting International Medical Corps. And together, we can continue making a difference, improving the life of women and children throughout the world and making dreams for a better future like my own dream come true. Thank you.